Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks, and today I'm going to show you how to zero your AR-15. Now I prefer a 50 yard zero. It gives you point of aim, point of impact shooting, you know, basically from zero yards all the way out past 200 yards with minimal holdovers. That's the one I use on all of my rifles. And I'm going to show you how to do that process here today. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, folks, when you're going to use your iron sights, it's a good idea to blacken them with something. I like to use a lighter. Uh, you could use... I mean, there's paint that you can do it. I mean, we always just use a lighter. That's an old marine trick there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blacken this front sight post. What that does is give you more contrast. It makes the front sight post stick out a little bit more, get a little bit more definition. So we're just gonna get that and we're gonna heat it up pretty good as you'll see it smoking a little bit there. Yep, we're just gonna blacken it up. Makes it a lot darker. And it will be hot after that, okay? So be careful. All right, everyone. First part about shooting or getting a good zero is that you got to be stable. Here I've chosen to give this shooter a bag to rest this rifle on. Okay, this is so that we can get the most consistent shots, right? The most stable way to, to get this rifle without moving the barrel is to rest it on something like this. Make sure you're resting the forearm on this, okay? We want the forearm of the rifle rested on this like this. The barrel is clear. Notice how much of her body is behind the rifle. We want that because we want this rifle to move and jump around as little as possible. She's also stabilizing that rifle from with her offhand as well. All right, so we're gonna first thing we need to do is establish a natural point of aim. All right, go ahead and put that front sight, and we're doing iron sights. I know you see that there's an aim point, but that's a totally separate process. I want to show you guys how to do it with irons first, and then we'll get into the aim point at a later at a later time. Okay. All right, so I want you to put and put this front sight. Right on the target, right where we talked about earlier. Okay, is the front sight crystal clear? Yes. All right, folks, when you zero on your irons, make sure you do it with a smaller aperture on your AR. Your AR comes with a big aperture and a small aperture. We want the smaller aperture. It's much more precise, even at, even at 50 yards, which is where we're zeroing right now. All right, so your front sight is, cr is clear where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. Exhale all the way. Open your eyes. Is your front sight still where you want it to go? Yeah. Okay, do another one, close your eyes, deep breath in, deep breath out, and where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. All right, that's your natural point of aim, all right? When you close your eyes, take a deep breath and exhale and then open your eyes, your sight should be exactly where you want it to be. If it is not, move your body so that the rifle is moving where you want it to go. All right, let's go three good rounds just where you want them to go. All right, and look at how she's doing this trigger right here. So you can see she takes up her slack. All right, AR triggers all have slacks unless you got a weird aftermarket one in there. Just leave them alone. All right, uh, use those stock triggers. All right, three really good shots. Press and hold every shot to the rear. And as you can see, folks, if you watch the rifle, you'll see it doesn't move very much because most of her body is behind this rifle and she's got it well supported up here. This rifle doesn't jump around very much. Good, and reset your trigger for one more shot. We're gonna follow through on our sight, follow through on that front sight the whole time. All right, make it safe. All right, let's go see where those shots hit. All right, everyone, as you can see, those shots, although they are centered, they do need to come down. So we're gonna have to make a front sight adjustment on this AR. We're gonna have to move that front sight down and I'm gonna show you just how to do that here. But a nice centered up group, uh, one little flyer there. We won't count this, I wouldn't worry about that little guy. But this is good shooting here. We're, we're talking an inch, that's, that's, that's pretty good. All right, folks, so we had an elevation we needed to come down. As you can see, this is your front sight post right here on an AR. As you can see, there's a word that says up, and it's got an arrow that's going this way. That means the bullet's going to strike up. Well, we want the bullets to strike down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bullet. You can use anything. You can use a nail. And what I'm going to do is push in on this detent here, and I'm going to move this. As I push in on this, I'm going to rotate this as well. All right, so we need to make this. And I'm going to think about two down will be sufficient, two clicks down. There's one. And then of course, we're gonna go down one more click. Let's go see where these bullets hit now. All right, everyone, we made that front side adjustment. You saw how we used a bullet in this case, but you could use a nail or anything else pointy like that to move your, your front side. So we made that adjustment. She's reestablished natural point of aim as we discussed earlier. All right, let's go three more rounds this time. And our elevation should be good. Our elevation should be brought down. 
uh, with that adjustment. All right, three rounds when you are ready. All right. Very good trigger control. Once again, see the rifle moving as little as possible because her body is behind it. Very important. All right, make it safe. All right, everyone, as you can see, making that front side adjustment brought the group down exactly where we need to be. So what we're gonna do now is make a windage adjustment. As you can see, we're pushing to the right. So we need to move our rounds to the left, and I'm gonna show you how to do just that. All right, everyone, as you can see, those shots were to the right. We need to move them to the left. So on an AR-15 on those iron sights, we're gonna use that rear sight to do this. This is where your windage adjustment is. So here we see if we rotate the knob forward, our group would go to the right. We want it to go to the left, so we're gonna have to go the opposite direction. And I'm gonna guess about six left, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six left. That's how you fix your windage. Let's go ahead and finalize our zero. She should be right in the black on these. All right, everyone, we've made our rear sight windage adjustment, so now we're gonna shoot our final rounds, and these should be in the bullseye. Should be right in the black, and we'll have a good zeroed rifle, less than 10 rounds, so let's get to it here. You have your natural point of aim. Mm -hmm. All right, touch your trigger, take up your slack. All right, focus on that front sight. It should be crystal clear. Put it exactly where you want the bullet to go at this distance, and three well-aimed shots into the black. Very nice trigger control. Perfect position on that rifle. It's not moving hardly at all. Very nice. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect shot. All right, excellent. Make it safe. Everyone, you can see, look at these. Three nice holes right in the black. And cover them with your, with your palm. Very good shooting here. These all are exactly where they need to be, nice and centered up. You now got you a zeroed rifle from point of aim, point of impact, out from zero to 200 and plus yards. Well, there you have it. That's how you zero your AR-15. I prefer the 50 yard zero, point of aim, point of impact, shooting out well past 200 yards. It's gonna hit exactly where you want it to. Uh, that's my recommended one. That's one I use on all my rifles. And I hope you found value out of it. If you like it, subscribe to the channel. This is Reed Hendricks reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. Do um, or do not. The couple that shoots together stays mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember.